Hey guys, Ryan Tyler here with Skiers Marine and I'm excited to show you a great boat from Chaparral. It's just under 25 feet, it's the Chaparral 247 SSX. Let's check it out. We had so much fun today with the Skiers Marine team. We want to use our team's passion for water sports to build the legacy of our customers and their families. And I'm excited to share with you a brand new option for 2022. This is good because you're learning this technique. Yeah. Our passion. Our passion. Our passion. Using our passion to grow your legacy. So this boat comes in at 24 feet 6 inches, so just under 25 feet. The cool thing about this boat is I actually took the 267, removed the head compartment because a lot of people don't need that, and we're able to save a lot of the same space you have in a larger boat. Has a 60 gallon fuel tank, weighs 4,500 pounds, has multiple engine offerings which we'll go over when we show you what's inside this current boat, and has seating for 13. So like I said, this boat shares the same DNA as a lot of the larger SSX line, just a little bit smaller package. First to which, as you can see, is this transom. So we have this really nice full beam width platform. Makes it really easy to board side to side. You notice it doesn't really list. So at the transom, you can see we don't have the power step, but this actually boat is optioned without it. You have a four step boarding ladder. So it makes it really easy to board on and off the boat. It's really tall, goes really far down deep in the water, which is really nice. We do have a grab handle to help you get up easily here. There's also an integrated tow point. This really nice chaise lounge across the back. So it makes a double wide seat. So same size as the 267. It's really comfortable for when you're at the sandbar hanging out because Chaparral realizes that a lot of the time on a boat is actually spin a float, just hanging out and socializing with your friends and family. And we don't sacrifice this third seat, which is really nice. All right, so coming into the boat, Chaparral does a really nice job of giving us a wide walkway. Makes it to where we don't have to step on seats as we come in. We have storage here as well. So easy access to floats and stuff you want to pull here, life jackets that you don't want to get wet. You can also see our battery selector switch as well as our breaker panels. So Chaparral doesn't use fuses, they like breakers. That way if something does trip, it doesn't kill your day on the lake and you have to find the fuse blocks. You just trip the breaker back and keep on going. This boat's option with the Sea Deck swim platform mat and Sea Deck flooring has a really nice rich look to it. Also has a side benefit of it's not slippery when it's wet. It's removable if you do want to take it out and just have fiberglass. Those are more your coastal markets, but in the freshwater lakes which we service, this is a great option for your flooring. So coming inside, you can see we have a beautiful interior. It's really deep when I sit down in it. It actually touches the shoulder, so it is secure and safe when it is a little bit rough out on the lakes or your waterways. If you look, we have really nice silicone vinyl, like I said earlier. It's all double French stitch on your major wear seam, so you don't have to worry about separating over time. It has this really nice phone system. It's called dual density foam that allows water to flow through it but it won't let you sink down into the bottom of the seat base. Wrap around yacht seating. They even take the time to wrap this backrest so you can actually sit here and face forward comfortably as well as have two people sitting beside you. We have a dedicated spot for our cooler over here. So it's all insulated. It also holds a bag cooler really well if you would like to have a carry-on carry-out cooler. Two drink holders over here and you can even take a look at the attention to detail. All stainless steel, fiberglass panels. This boat's really built to last, which is what Chaparral is known for, is building our boat that you could have for the next 30 or 40 years. Continuing forward, what makes this really unique is actually this Oasis seat. So normally Chaparral's have a dual bucket seat system, but they like the idea of having somebody be able to face forward really comfortably. So it's really nice. You do still have a flip-up bolster, but if we're doing towed water sports, which this boat does really well, it'll actually let you face backwards. So I can stretch out backwards. It's comfortable, I'm a great spotter position, and I can actually socialize with every in the, everybody in the boat really easily. Storage continues throughout. So you can see a pretty good bit of storage. We have a water toy inflator over here, a float inflator. The cool thing too is this boat actually has what's called a self bailing cockpit. So when it does rain or you get water in the bow, it doesn't go into the bilge and let the bilge pump it out. It actually has dual overboard drains on each side, which you can see these silver plates right here. That's what that is. That way it uses gravity to get all the water out of your boat. You don't have to worry about it sinking for safety reasons. So before we check out the rest of the boat, I did want to point out a couple of other upgrades this boat has that you don't have to do, but a lot of people prefer. First of which is this really nice EFX tower. You can see we'll highlight it later in the video with this really nice oversized bin. As you can see, the entire, entire cockpit's covered in the shade, which is really nice. You also have multiple motor configurations you can do on this model. So you can do Volvo or Mercruiser from 250 to 350. This boat we're in is actually equipped with a Mercruiser 350 horsepower engine, 6.2 liter Bravo 3 outdrive. You could also do it with, like I said, the 250 to 350 Volvo as well, if you prefer that engine package. We also have really nice storage right here, which is a great place to put towels and stuff you don't want to get wet because it doesn't drain into it at all. Notice the attention to detail. 
So all stainless steel hardware. This boat's made for salt water, which is actually what we're sitting in. It's all insulated, so it's a nice quiet ride as we are riding around the lake and have a really great experience. So coming forward, like I said, we have this really nice Oasis seat. We also have a glove box. This is the big difference between the 267 and the 247. This does not have a head compartment. We have an oversized glove box to put anything you want. A really nice stainless steel grab handle. You can see the JL Audio upgrade this boat has, but you can do it with a standard stereo system. So moving here, you'll see this really nice display. We have this cool bucket seat that Chaparral designed. You'll notice it's cut out right here, so you can side saddle, which makes it really easy to get in and out of without turning the seat. It's also vented at the back. That way you have some airflow on the hot days like today where it's 95 degrees. Oversized bolster that flips up really easy. Great visibility over the windshield so I can see and safely operate the boat no matter what the conditions are. The dash itself is laid out really well. All black vinyl dash with a dark accent. So even on the camera, you can see there's not really a glare, which is really great on your sunny environments. Easy to read and reach bezels with switch panels. So these are just one way switches. So if you wanna turn something on or off, it's easy to do. Easy to access key switch, your blower is easy to access as well. It's all two position switches that light up to let you know they're on. Upgraded leather wrap steering wheel and even take a notice of the attention to detail. When you spin it, the logo always faces up, which is a really kind of neat thing to look at. You have your JL audio control over here as well as a cup holder. And then you have access to a 12 volt plug and auxiliary switch. So the screen system itself is really nice. It's twin seven inch Simrad displays. They're all touch. You can put either functions on each screen. So as you can see right now, we have our GPS where we are in Florida, as well as the instrumentation. But if I want to change it, it's easy to do. I can get all the vital engine information that I need as well as where I am on the waterway really easily. Before we check out the front, I want to highlight one more thing. We have this really nice oversized windshield. You'll notice when I'm sitting in the bolster seat, I see over. And when I come down to the lower position, I can actually see through the windshield, which is really nice ergonomically. And they top it off with this really high-end finished windshield cap that's all stainless steel. So coming forward, before we check out the front, which is really nice, we have a really big oversized ski locker. You can see we have the Coast Guard kit as well as the cover down in here. And notice that they even have a cockpit drainage system to keep water out of it as well. That way you don't have wet goods in a ski locker that can mold and mildew over time. Moving forward, we have a wind dam. It's great for when it's cooler morning or cooler evening cruises, as well as if it's raining. It opens and closes easily. You can see it pretty much blocks all the elements off from the cockpit, which is really nice. And instead of using a lift and lock latch, they actually use an easy magnet over here, which is great. So you don't have to fumble with it if you're trying to open and close it quickly. So moving into the bow, you can see we carry the same interior appointments forward, which is really nice. This really nice silicone tritone vinyl full length grab well. So it is safe to grab on no matter which way you're seated into it. Ergonomically, look how much attention the chaparral pays into making sure you have lumbar support. And they have this really nice diamond stitch pattern that just makes it look really rich as far as the interior goes. Super comfortable and deep. You'll notice no matter which way I face, I'm pretty much locked in and comfortable. I have a grab handle for if it does get rougher. Four cup holders up front, which is really nice, and two more JL speakers, so I have great sound quality. And you can take a look at the attention to detail in this really nice embossed logo. Access to our storage is great as well. They actually took the time to gold wing both these seats. So I have easy access to all my storage. Just look how much those open up. So you can get pretty access to anything you want, throw your floats, gear, coolers, bags, anything you just want easy access to. If you want to beach the boat, which I would recommend it is a stern drive, if you have access to do that by removing this wrap around cushion right here, pops in and out really easily. You have a step to where I can get off the bow and get onto the beach. Forward to that, we actually have access to our anchor locker, which is great. So you don't have to worry about getting a dirty anchor in your boat. We have anchor keepers as well. So before we take it out on a quick sea trial, I did want to point out one other aspect that I didn't talk about, which is this awesome EFX power folding tower. So it actually goes down and up with the push to the button. It's great for storage if you're trying to get it in a garage, because this boat is easily trailerable at 25 feet or just under. To operate it, it's really easy to do. All you do is just push the button on the dash and it goes up and down. Notice it's powder coated. It comes in white or black, depending on what colorway you want to pick. Like this boat we're on has a slate gray and black colorway, so it looks, looks great. If you wanted a more coastal look or just something a little brighter, the white tower would be a great option. And they powder coat it that way it'll hold up to the elements. So in salt water, you want to make sure your welds are protected, and this is a great way to do that. The warranty on the chaparral, like I said, is awesome as well. So it's a five year uh, 
industry leading component warranty as well as a lifetime limited structural hole warranty. It has Kevlar in the hole so it is really rigid. It allows you to beach it and drive it over rough ways and give you that really comfortable wide. And then you couple that with the engine warranty, you can get up to five years on the engine as well. Yep. So guys, that's a wrap for the Chaparral 247 SSX. Thanks for checking it out with me. I hope you enjoy learning about it as much as I did showing it to you. It's a great boat, great for your family. If you think it might be the one, come check it out at one of our authorized Chaparral Skiers Marine locations and see it for yourself. Thanks for watching.